Instructional video for serger overlock machines. This instructional video has been produced to help you learn the features of your new machine. It covers the two types of serger overlock machine available which are distinguished by the threading method. One has recessed dials with lay in threading. The other has surface tension dials, also referred to as beehive tension. This video will be based on the lay in threading type of serger overlock machine, but will also give instructions on the threading of the beehive type. Preparation Make sure to turn the power switch off. To thread your machine, extend the thread guide bar to its highest position. Place good quality threads onto the spool pins. Threading works from right to left. There is a convenient threading chart inside the looper cover. Threading lay and type. Raise the presser foot. This allows the thread to be inserted easily between the tension discs when threading. Slide the looper cover to the right and pull it open. Open the side cover. When threading your machine, you should always ensure that each thread slots into the guide of thread guide bar from back to front. It is also important to insert each thread through the left hole of the thread guide plate from back to front. Then, back over the top. And then, through the right hand hole from back to front. Threading the lower looper. Lead the right hand thread towards you and down through the tension assembly. Always make sure the thread is correctly inserted between the tension discs by holding both ends and tugging it gently. Pass the thread down through the right side of the looper thread guide bar. And through the next three guides mark green. Pass the thread through from right to left and hook it into the lower looper thread guide. Turn the balance wheel towards you until the needles are in the lowest position. Feed the thread back through the lower looper. Turn the balance wheel towards you to raise the needles. Pass the thread through the eye of the looper and pull towards the back. Threading the upper looper. Lead the second thread towards you and down through the tension assembly. Make sure the thread is correctly inserted between the tension discs. Pass the thread down through the left side of the looper thread guide bar. And through the next guide marked red. Turn the balance wheel towards you lower the needles. Insert the thread behind the wire thread guide. Pass the thread through the eye of the upper looper from front to back. Return the needles to their highest position. Close the covers. Place the threads under the foot to the left. Threading the needles. To thread the needles on your machine, ensure they are in the highest position. Lead the thread from the third spool pin towards you and down through the tension assembly.
Then, under the right needle thread guide and over the take up lever thread guide from right to left. Slot the thread into the right side of the needle thread guide, and then, behind the needle bar thread guide. Pass the thread through the eye of the right hand needle from front to back. Finally under the foot. To thread the left needle, lead the left hand thread towards you and down through the tension assembly. Then, under the thread guide and slide it over the take up lever thread guide from right to left. Slot the thread into the left side of the needle thread guide, and then, behind the needle bar thread guide. Pass the thread through the eye of the left hand needle from front to back. And finally under the foot. Threading beehive type. Raise the presser foot and set the tension dials to zero. This allows the thread to be inserted easily between the tension discs when threading. Slide the looper cover to the right and pull it open. Open the side cover. When threading your machine, you should always ensure that each thread slots into the guide of thread guide bar from back to front. It is also important to insert each thread through its left hole of the thread guide plate from the top, then, back over the top. And down through the right hand hole from top to bottom. Threading the lower looper. Lead the right hand thread towards you through the guide and under the tension disc. Always make sure the thread is correctly inserted between the tension discs by holding both ends and tucking it gently. Pass the thread over the guide and through the next three guides mark green. Pass the thread through from right to left and hook it into the lower looper thread guide. Turn the balance wheel towards you until the needles are in the lowest position. Feed the thread back through the lower looper. Turn the balance wheel towards you to raise the needles. Pass the thread through the eye of the looper and pull towards the back. Threading the upper looper. Lead the second thread towards you through the guide and under the tension disc. Check if it is inserted correctly. Pass the thread over the guide. And through the next two guides marked red. Turn the balance wheel towards you to lower the needles. Insert the thread behind the wire thread guide. Pass the thread through the eye of the upper looper from front to back. Return the needles to their highest position. Close the covers. Place the threads under the foot to the left. Threading the needles. To thread the needles on your machine, ensure they are in the highest position. Pass the thread from the third spool pin under the tension disc. 
and then, under the right needle thread guide and over the take-up lever thread guide from right to left. Hook the thread around the needle thread guide from left to right and then, behind the needle bar thread guide. Pass the thread through the eye of the right hand needle from front to back. And finally under the foot. To thread the left hand needle, take the thread from the left hand spool pin and pass it under the tension disc. Slide it over the take up lever thread guide from right to left. Hook the thread around the needle thread guide from right to left and then, behind the needle bar thread guide. Pass the thread through the eye of the left hand needle from front to back. And finally under the foot. Basic operation. Now that you have successfully threaded your machine, lower the presser foot. Ensure all four thread tension dials are set at 3. Fine tuning of these settings may be required depending on types of fabric and thread being used. Turn the power switch on. Holding all threads, start to sew slowly allowing the threads to form a chain. It is important to note that the seam line is where the left needle enters the fabric, not where the blade cuts the excess away. To sew a seam, insert the fabric under the toe of the foot and start to sew. It is not necessary to raise the foot unless you are using very thick fabric. When you get to the end of the seam, Keep the foot control depressed and continue sewing, gently pulling the fabric out to the rear of your machine. Cut the thread with the thread cutter located on the left side of needle bar. Stitch length. To alter the stitch length, turn the stitch length dial located on the right hand side of your machine. A lower number will give you a shorter stitch length which is suitable for finer fabrics. A higher number will give you a longer stitch, more suitable for heavier fabrics. Differential feed. Your machine is equipped with differential feed mechanism, which is designed to help you cope with a wide variety of fabrics. The regulating dial is located under the stitch length dial on the right hand side of your machine. Lightweight fabrics have a tendency to contract when sewn, causing seams to pucker. When sewing lightweight fabrics, set the differential feed dial between 1.0 and 0.5 for a perfect finish. Knitted fabrics have tendency to stretch when sewn, causing the seam to wave. For these fabrics, set the differential feed dial to between 1.0 and 2.25 for a perfect finish. Machine Care Your machine uses ballpoint needles size 11 or 14, depending on your fabric. For high quality stitching, change your needles regularly. Ensure you insert a new needle to its highest position with the flat side to the back of the machine. Clean and oil your machine as recommended in your instruction book. Regular maintenance will ensure your machine runs trouble free for many years. <laughs>